Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Rebuild It. This week our goal is to get that Can-Am off of the trailer, hopefully, and rolling around where we can get it in the shop. So let's see if we can get that done. All right, so it's been at least a week or week and a half, two weeks, probably two weeks since I last shot a video on the Can-Am and my parts are finally here. This uh, control arm, I had to get it directly from um, BRP, which is the company that makes Can-Am. So I got that and I've got the ball joint that goes in that. I figured it's I'm changing that, I might as well put a new ball joint in it. And I've got the axle shaft. So hopefully all that's right. And what we need to do now is get this tire back off and start trying to get the axle shaft off and the uh, upper control arm. Okay, so I'm making some progress here. I got the uh, old upper control arm off and you have to drill out. There's rivets all along here to hold this brake line in. So I had to drill those rivets out. Went ahead and got the axle shaft out. Those just pull out. And then when I got down to here where I could see, I see I had much more damage. Aww. See that bracket? It is definitely all bent up for that lower control arm. I think the control arm is okay, but I need to take that off and do some bending and welding and heating and getting all that back out straight because, I mean, it's supposed to be out flat like that one. And it's not. <laughs> so it's never gonna act right with that like that. So that's gonna take more time. So I'll go ahead and get that lower control arm off. I think the steering uh, shaft is okay. Wish I could get it off the trailer so I could get it inside to work on it. But if I put it back together enough to get it inside, I'm gonna take it back apart to get to that. All right, so now you can really see it better since I've got that lower control arm off. It just needs to be bent back. It looks like there was a, it was a weld on the end of that square tube there. So, man, that's gonna be a little bit of, it's gonna be a little hard. So hopefully I can get it bent back to where it's supposed to be and welded correctly. All right, so what I ended up having to do was just grind that bracket off and man, it took a long time. It's hard to get it into there, your grinder wheel in there, but here it is. So I'm gonna have to try to see if I can fix it or find another one. That would be very hard to find another one. So that's the next step. So all this stuff's gonna have to sit out here again until I can get that welded back on. And tomorrow in the next two, few days, it's supposed to be in the low 30s as a high. So let's try to get it done today while we have some warm weather. All right, so I've got this bracket in my vice <laughs> man this thing is i mean pretty bad shape so i'm gonna beat around on it and try to weld try to get this where i can get the hole back where it's supposed to be and weld that back where it needs to be and then just start trying to get it straight and see if we can save it
so I've got this thing close. I had to cut in several different places and re-weld and all that. So my hole, since it was so stretched out in the wreck, I've got to re-drill it. So I need to put our uh, control arm in there with the bushings in it and stuff and run a uh, bolt through it and make sure all the, make sure the holes line up. And then uh, we'll see about getting it welded back on. So first thing to do is to grind all that weld off that I, where I ground that bracket off the frame, get that nice and smooth. And then we'll get our bracket and get it welded on and make sure everything fits. And we gotta make sure our, that our lower control arm fits in, you know, in that bracket and that bracket at the same time before we do any welding, just to make sure everything's good. So I got my bottom two bolts in. I got it lined up, I think it's right. I'm gonna clean up my welds later after I get it in the shop. Man, I, my welding is, especially when you can't reach it, can't see very good, it's not very good weld. So I'm gonna have to grind some up and, and weld them again or, or just at least clean them up. They look terrible. I mean, they're solid, they just look bad. But So I've got the bottom um, lower control arm back where it needs to be. And now I've got the axle shaft here. So hopefully we can get that put in and get it back down through this uh, tub. Need to get my brake rotor back on there. Well, I'll be doing that. I'm about to run out of daylight. So I've got the axle shaft in, which took a lot of finagling. That's in. So now what I gotta do is go get the upper control arm and I've gotta transfer all the stuff from the old smashed one to the new one. And you can see the older ones had no support right here. And so when you hit the uh, something, you know, the Two, these two arms could spread apart and separate. Now they've got a brace across here. So, so I've got to switch over the, the grease fittings and all these bushings and stuff. Okay, I finally found a big enough socket. A 36 millimeter. So I think I got it all the way in. So we'll see if that can get the uh, snap ring on there. Yep. It's all the way in, so there's our ridge. So I finally got the upper control arm lined back up, bolted on. Everything's just, the nuts just are stuck on there. I don't have any kind of anything tightened or anything yet because I want it all loose enough to get it all put on. So now all I got left to do is put that shock bolt back in right through here and get the tire on and we should be able to get this thing off the trailer after weeks of waiting for stuff. Got all the got everything back on there. 
And remember, there's nothing tightened up. It's all just loose, so it's probably not sitting right. But So what I'm going to do is uh, I've got a winch hooked up to this. And I'm going to raise the trailer up. I'm just going to let her roll off. Finally got this thing off the trailer and in the shop so I could work on it, whether it's super cold outside or it's raining or whatever so that's always good to get them in the shop so remember i don't have anything on that you need that suspension tightened down i just got bolts stuck in there and everything just to get rolling around so i guess the first thing we'll do is jack it back up get the tire back off and start tightening everything up So I've got everything back together and it's checking it out. I'm missing, or I've got two things I still have to do to there. I'm missing a cotter pin and I got to put in that bottle, that ball joint right here. And I couldn't get my rivet uh, tool in there to, uh, because of the spring to put this last rivet in for this line. I've got the other one in. It's not going to go, it's not going to get caught in anything, but eventually need to put another rivet in there. Got it greased. So hopefully everything's okay. So the next step will be to jump in here. I got a package in that was probably gonna be the best deal I've got on any of the parts on this Can-Am so far. And it is the uh, exhaust. So if you remember this came with just, somebody took the exhaust off of them. I don't know if it was stolen or somebody took it off before they sent it to the insurance company or what, but all got straight pipes. So I found a guy in Canada that had uh, a set of OEM exhaust uh, mufflers and got them for $250 for the pair with the clamps and everything, and then shipped for 60 bucks from Canada. So those things, everything else I've been finding was 250 or more a piece used and these were i mean these were used but they only had like 200 miles on them so they look new so and i'm missing a uh let's see right there one of the rubber grommets that holds it on but i've got it here somewhere it's i ordered it so we'll get that on and then we'll put the i'll start it up and you can hear what it sounds like straight piped and then we'll put the uh exhaust on and you see how it sounds it'll quiet it up quite a bit Okay, so here's our OEM exhaust. And you can see, man, it's like new. I mean, there's not even any rust on them yet. So that was, that was a super deal. So we got those, let's get them installed and see what it sounds like with our exhaust on there. the exhaust on there now let's see how it sounds with that
Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Rebuild It. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you enjoy our content. Next week, I'm not sure if we're going to have another Can-Am video or maybe a Challenger one. Depends on the paint situation on the Challenger. So we'll see you next week. And always remember, don't retire it if you can rebuild it. So we're trying to see if our phones will hook to this uh, stereo system in here. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Yeah. What a great song. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in and watching this week's episode of Rebuild It. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any awesome content. Have a good one.